Hello, my name is Tara and welcome to my channel. This is Tara from Tara One Love Coach. And on this channel, we talk about relationships, but we th do it through the tarot. And today we will be reading on Capricorn. Capricorn, hello out there. So great to be with you. And thank you for spending a little bit of time with me. Today we are going to be doing a timeless reading. So as I mentioned before, welcoming all my new subscribers and sending a shout out to my loyal subscribers. Thank you for hanging in there with me. Okay, so let's get started for Capricorn. Let's see what's in store for you um, and what's coming up for you, actually. If you haven't already, uh, also consider subscribing to my sec second channel called Ask Tara Love Advice. Um, you can subscribe there on that channel. I will be doing pick a card readings and also talking about topics on relationship. I'm still getting that channel up the up, up off the ground. So thank you for being patient with me. Okay, so remember with a timeless reading, it is not restricted by the physical time, but it goes by the universal time. It goes by how it resonates with you intuitively. If you hear something in this timeless reading and you say, wow, I'm going through that, it's a timeless reading. If you're not, it's not going to resonate with everyone. And if it doesn't resonate, remember to just to let, let it go. Okay. Um, so I am going to start with the Gateway Oracle Cards by Denise Lynn. I, I like using these cards, so it's kind of like a spiritual cleaning, a spiritual mental purging. Uh, when I use these cards, it clears your mind, it redirects your negative thinking to think about things positively. So let's get started. So let's see what the first card is for you, Capricorn. Letting go. So that's a message for you, Capricorn. Letting go. I surrender joyously to the ebbing and flowing of your life. Letting go. So this is a time, especially coming into the new years, whatever hasn't been working for you uh, this year, it's time to let it go. It's time to cleanse yourself purge yourself and let things go that haven't been working for you. Cherishing self. And that's another spiritual message because if it has not been working for you or if, if it's a person um, or a relationship that hasn't been working for you, maybe it's time to kind of rethink it, reflect and start thinking about you cherishing yourself focusing on you okay so that that's a beautiful message there and the imagery is very very uh calming there you see the cup of tea and the gifts and the pink roses and a glass of wine it, it, it looks as though it's a plate of salad there so i guess that's in some grapes i guess that's representing healthiness taking care of yourself but also, you know, going into that relaxed state as well. So I like the imagery there. Very nice. I accept and love myself. So that is the message there. Loving yourself. Very important message. I receive that. It's a very beautiful message too. 
Okay, so I will pull one more here, and this is Cultivating Prosperity. So that is another great message moving into the new year, Cultivating Prosperity, planting your seeds, and you see um, the, the, the lines of um, crops there, and sort of like you doing your gardening and you're planting in seeds and you're going to reap the positive harvest, cultivating prosperity, taking care of what you have and so that it can grow and be fruitful for the future. So very beautiful messages there. This is something great to focus on and to meditate on. Okay, make your affirmations as well. So those are your messages, uh, Capricorn, and beautiful messages, I must say. Okay, so let's get into the reading, and let's look at the energies that are surrounding you. These three cards represent your mental, okay, your mental state, as I said before. It cleans or clears out uh, whatever negative thoughts you have. It helps you refocus, redirect your thinking into more positive into a more positive way of thinking okay so let's move further and let's see what's in store for you what's coming up for you for love You start off with the Two of Cups, and I call this the Soulmate card. Uh, the Two of Cups, with the two uh, couples together, looking at each other's eyes, the unity that they're sharing, uh, the connection that they share. So this is representing your situation, um, Capricorn. It tells you that the love that you're beginning to build, this could be a new love, but it shows that the both of you, if you have a partner, you both are very in love. If you don't have a partner, this could be something that's coming in for you that spirit is telling you to prepare for and not to be doubtful if you're not with anyone now, okay? This is why we have to redirect our thoughts, redirect our thinking so that we can bring in those things that are positive to us. Bring it in, speak it into the universe so that it can manifest. Okay, we have the Four of Coins. And for some of you have been thinking about someone, we see this uh, light image in the background, the woman holding the Four Coins. And clearly it says that she is still holding, some, holding on to something from the past. And it's aligned with your mental here, your mental mind saying, let it go, okay? So some of you are holding on to something from the past. Some of you are holding on to something that has not been working for you. And you may have had thoughts of letting it go or should you let it go. Some of you could be afraid to let it go. But you have to ask yourself, are you really holding on to something? What are you really holding on to? Okay, if that person has hasn't been giving you the attention that you need, is it worth holding on to someone that is not reciprocating those emotions back to you? We have the two of cups here that shows a balance in love. So for those of you that are holding on to something that has not been working or you haven't seen um, things manifest, for some of you, this is sort of like a catch-22 because Spirit is telling there's some of you just have been holding on. And as you're holding on, is actually blocking what's coming up for you with this Two of Cups. So moving into the new year, we're going to think about letting it go. We're going to take a risk for some of you. 
for the daredevils, okay? For some of you who's ready to let a situation go that has not been working for you, okay? Because I feel that this Two of Cups is going to start slowly coming in for you. It's going to start start on that path. It's going to start building the pathway for love, okay? And that's what I see. I see like a pathway, clairvoyantly. I see like a pathway. And that spirit is preparing for you to walk. It's sort of like clearing the roads, clearing that walkway. Okay, so that you can walk on that path. Okay, some of you have been a bit of a bit of afraid of the unknown, and spirit is saying not to be afraid because there's abundance for you coming up. Okay, we have the Ace of Coins, which speaks about abundance in all areas of your life. That's over you. That's ahead of you. That's in the spiritual realm here. That's ahead of you. And what spirit wants you to do is start cherishing yourself. Okay? Cherishing yourself. Taking care of yourself. Because I feel that when you're doing that, the universe, spirit, God is preparing you for something great to happen. Five of Coins. Five of Coins is, is, is the foundation here. And it speaks about something that you might have recently went through. And we see the woman here carrying her baby through the storm, the winter storm. Cuddling her baby, keeping her baby warm through the storm. She was just left out in the cold. She felt abandoned. She felt like nobody wanted her. She felt rejected. It reminded her of something that she has gone through, even in her past. And for those of you that have been through a situation of rejection or abandonment, even as you uh, grew up in childhood, Spirit is saying that it doesn't have to be that way when it comes to relationship. Spirit is saying that you do deserve love. You deserve abundance in love and you will receive the abundance in love and this is why we're talking about if we are holding on to something that hasn't hasn't been working for us that holding on to someone that has rejected us or mistreated us okay we have to think about that we have to think about is it time to let go and allow God, the universe, to bring to us the beauty of love and to allow us to see what's in store for us when it comes to love. Okay? Deep stuff here. You have the Prince of Arrows coming through, and that's like the Knight of Arrows. So this tells me that there is going to be someone coming in for you who possibly may be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, possibly, or it could be in their chart, um, whether sun, moon, or rising. Um, but it, it, it's someone that's coming in. And it's someone that's going to start with communication, talking to you, listening to you. So I see transferring of words back and forth okay so this is what's coming in for you Capricorn and you have the nine of Pentacles see all this abundance that's coming around you with the nine of Pentacles this message is so powerful for many of you that may have been afraid to let go of a situation or someone that you have been dreaming about because you were left out in the cold. But it speaks about a new love that's coming in, okay, for you. We have to remember not to reject 
or not to, you know, think that we can't find love, we have to take a risk. We have to believe that love will come to us and not be doubtful. Four of Cups speaks about a bit of discontentment here. Maybe there's a hard decision coming through. And maybe Spirit is saying that you need to come to reality. There's a reality that needs to be seen. Now this message could be vice versa. If there's someone else, it can be a message for that other person too. That this is the smokescreen uh, with illusions. Actually, not the smoke screen, it's the moon. So this is the moon. So this is a Pisces that's coming up with illusions. Those things that are appearing there and they're not actually there. Illusions. This card is labeled illusions. So the message is kind of clearing out what's underneath uh, the secrecy of the moon. Okay, but there's a Pisces coming forth here. There's some discontentment, and also the discontentment could also be whatever has been spoken to you. Sort of empty promises I'm getting. And you have the Ace of Staff, so there's a lot of passion here as well. Manifestation, the Ace card is a Yes card. So if you have a question in regards to a situation, the ace card is coming out here. So this is a yes card. So yes, you will have happiness. Yes, you will find love. Yes, you will have abundance. Make sure that you're looking in the right direction and you're not being fooled by illusions or things that are not there. Okay? Because there's great abundance for you, Capricorn, in every form even um, financially I'm seeing as well and you could actually meet someone around work or connected to work or on your path that way um, as well so let's get the Doreen uh, Virgil I always call the Doreen Virgil but let's uh, get the Romance Angel uh, cards and see what's what's the messages there Wow, unrequited love. That is definitely that five of that five of pentacles feeling left out in the cold. Um f for those of you that resonate with that one sided love, as I mentioned earlier in the video, uh that person or a situation that you're not being reciprocated, you have the love to give. You have so much love to give, but you found that your love has been rejected or mistreated or unappreciated. This is that unrequited love, feeling like you're left out in the cold with that five of pentacles. I feel for some of you, Capricorn, this is why spirit in the beginning of this reading was talking about letting go and cherishing yourself. If you don't love yourself, who's going to love you, right? Right. So that's definitely a message. But I feel like also the universe is preparing you for something bigger to come. We're speaking about a reconciliation for some of you as well. Reconciliation. Now, these messages are going to go in many different ways because it's going to it's going to resonate with many different people. For some of you may have dealt with an unrequited love. For some of you, there may be a situation of a reconciliation. Okay? For some of you, even though we see this four of pentacles, this person is looking and, and thinking about someone. And it could be someone that they know 
that is going to come back to them. So we see this reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So that is a message for some of you. And romantic feelings. I find with this Two of Cups, this soulmate energy that's coming out, there's a lot of romantic feelings that are being exchanged here. And we have the heart-to-heart -heart conversations. I told you about the Knight of Swords, about communication and how the level of communication is going to be strong. It's going to be a strong connection. Okay? So heart-to-heart -heart conversation speaks about being able to talk and communicate with each other. Someone listening to you and you listening to them. Beautiful messages that are here. And flirt. Well, wow, so many messages for you coming up for the new year for you, uh, Capricorn. If this reading resonates with you, remember to give the podcast a heart or like or follow me and give the video a thumbs up as well, most definitely, and let me know how it resonates with you in the comment section. Remember, follow me on my podcast on Ask Tara Love Advice. Um, if you have any questions you want me to address in a video, please put it in the comment section. Make sure the questions are general, that it can help everyone, okay? If you had a relationship question, um, if there's any personal questions in regards to your situation, remember the link is in the description. Um, I'm on an app called Instant Go for Android and iPhone and an app called Magnify where you can call me up and talk to me uh, live. Um, that's also for iPhone and Android. Either platform, you can contact me. Until next time, God